Hello everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Things are going pretty well now. I think we've managed to, uh, you know, skirt past those little bit of follies that we had for a couple of the more recent dungeon crawls. And uh, everyone's looking like they're in decent enough shape. I've got to look through here again to make sure that I am addressing the more pressing diseases. For example, Tournament is suffering from rabies, which, while it looks like it's probably one of the better diseases to have, obviously, minus 10 accuracy is something that we really don't want to allow to linger for that long. Uh, I also need to make sure that I am taking advantage of the fact that I can reduce the cost of this treatment right now. The front line of this war is not in the dungeon, but rather inside the mind. Wow. That was a really brutal way of saying get your shit fixed I'm gonna do that right now get yourself gone girl and I think a couple more folks have some pretty bad stuff here too I th in fact I think another person might have rabies if I recall correctly I just don't remember exactly who that was if I'm just gonna s uh, let's see just cycle through these guys might have been one of our lower level characters it was yeah it was Mortagne our brand new occultist suffering from that as well, so I'm gonna have him take care of that, because that's not something that we want to leave lingering about. So, that problem is addressed. Now, we have the blacksmith, because we now have the opportunity to upgrade our armor to rank 3, and we're also going to decrease the cost In of that. End, every plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. And in doing so, I suppose, well, hold on a second. Oh, I guess we've already spent a little bit of money on upgrading these guys here, too. So we're going to be upgrading whoever we decide to bring out this time around. And in uh, doing so, I'm actually going to check our mission availability real fast to see what we can do. I'd like very much to bring these guys who are close to leveling up out so we can get more level 3 availability once the level 3 bosses start becoming available. Uh, looks like Charges then is going to be one of our primary options, although I've already upgraded his abilities, of course. Uh, Noyers is actually pretty close to level 2, so it's kind of tempting to throw her into a level 3 mission, although it is still kind of a questionable call. In fact, yeah, I'm thinking I'm probably going to go with our higher level guys just to take care of this. Con considering especially the fact that I am probably going to have to utilize much less inventory space this time around. Given the fact that we're get gathering, god damn, I am stuttering all over my freaking words today. Gathering three holy relics for this mission. So I'm thinking we go something along the lines of maybe Chartres in the front line. Uh, we might even be able to bring Noyers along for this. I think she might do okay as far as the remainder of this mission would be concerned. So we could go with, uh, could go with Chartres, Feroy perhaps throw Neuer's in the third slot, and then we'll have Savigny in the fourth. I don't think that's necessarily a bad plan, so we'll go ahead and start off with that. Savigny is definitely going to get that upgrade, and Feroy could probably use it as well. 900 gold to get a lot more health seems like a viable option to me. Neuer's unfortunately cannot get higher than level 2, but that's definitely worth it still. And we'll check into our skill sets here to see what we're actually utilizing. Shadow Fate is good to have even though she's going to start in the third position because it's nice to be able to stun as well as move back in the lineup with that move. I really like that option a lot. Uh, other than that, I think she's going to be basically good to go. Chartres has the, the uh, you know, kind of the go-to skill set for the Leper. I'm actually going to go ahead and head over to the Survivalist for a little while here just to make sure that I am uh, not passing up on some pretty good options here. Uh, let's see. Reduces his own stress by 25 at the cost of 5 stress for all of our companions, but it's only one respite to use that, so that might be a tempting one. In fact, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let him have that. We'll unlock that and allow that option to be available just in case we have need for it through the course of this adventure. Uh, so Vigny probably could use some help in this regard as well. I think I could actually reduce the cost of this. Oh, not quite. I do need some more crests, actually. So maybe that'll be a higher priority once we start going through here. Encourage is obviously a good one. Chant is nice as well, but I think Prey is the one that I really want to get here. Only really works very well on religious companions, but it is still all companions reducing by at least five, which is pretty damn useful if you ask me. So I'll gra go ahead and grab that one too. And then uh, Faroy, I guess, is going to be our fourth party member, and he's already got some decent stuff, so Noyers will be the last that we address. Let's bring her in here real fast. I think the Grave Rock Rock actually has some decent options. As far as the campfire is concerned, it looks like she's got three that are already pretty damn good. Gallows humor is kind of a big risk. 
Reduces her own stress by 25 by using it, but it also has a chance to increase the stress of those around her. But it's a pretty good chance to be extremely effective, so I think I'm going to grab that one, and we'll call that good. Heading into the guild real fast just to make sure we're up to date on all these things as well. Looks like she actually could use some loving in these categories. That works for me. We'll throw in our leper as well, and uh, he's doing okay. I think the intimidate actually could use a level up. We'll go for that too. For Roy needs some help. Zealous Accusation actually needs to be bumped up significantly, as well as the Stunning Blow. And I think if we get to Inspiring Cry level 3, that does do 5 Stress Heal. It does. Okay, so that's probably worth the money. And then finally, Savigny. Gotta make sure that she's up there with the heals, so there we go. Alright, she's got the Hand of Light, which isn't really my favorite, actually. I'm gonna give her Dazzling Light. I'm gonna give her that Stun opportunity again. Which is one that I really, really enjoy, and boost up that Stun base before we head out of here as well. I don't think we necessarily need to level up Judgment, especially considering I've already spent a lot of my money and we're kind of hoping that this pays out due dividends. It's got a 7,000 gold base value for the quest itself, so I think we'll be in good shape. So let's get Chartress in here for Roy. Noyers is going to be kind of weak for this, but I still think she'll be alright, surrounded by all these loving companions. Alright, here we go. No more torches still. I'm still uh, employing that strategy. Two shovels just to be a little bit safer. Go with a couple of bandages and a couple of holy waters. Some herbs. Ooh, we're actually kind of low on supply costs already. Well, let's uh, rethink this maybe. Let's just go with that. I think this will work out okay. Having the extra herbs may be beneficial, but... Uh, no, I think I'm alright. I think we'll call this good. So we're down to 500 gold, which means we're really, really relying on this going successfully. Kind of turns bringing Neuers into a much bigger gamble than I originally anticipated, but it's going to be on me to make sure that we're utilizing our our fellas effectively. Our fellas and two lady fellas. There is power in symbols. Collect the scattered scraps of faith. And give comfort to the masses. Yikes, this is not a desirable layout. I was really hoping for something a bit easier to manage, but nonetheless... Ooh, you know what? We forgot to manage our trinkets as well. That's unfortunate. They've already got some good stuff on them, of course. The commander's orders are nice for the crusader. Oh, and he's got the bloodthirst ring, too. Okay, so that's going to help us out a little bit. That's going to make the uh, food consumption much easier to deal with. I think I'll take a gamble on a bookcase to start off with here. The map is found tucked in the old volumes. Well, fantastic! It shows us there's treasure at the end of this hallway. Well, that's interesting. Might be worth it to go all the way there. That'll be our use of one key, more than likely. Okay, well, I'm kind of hoping that we don't have to go through too many uh, battles as we get through this hallway in particular. I'm hoping that we can just double back here safely and not have to worry about it too much. Of course, when we get our campfire option... Oh boy, her stress is already starting to get kind of high up there. I'm going to have to take care of that pretty soon. Oh, I gotta take off her hand of light as well. Damn it, I keep forgetting to do stuff. Okay, that's... That's my bad. Ooh, that would have been a good target on the Bone Noble to start off with, but unfortunately did not get it. Uh, knocking about the conscript... Conscript, rather, I'm pretty sure does not actually prevent him from taking his action, so instead we'll try to kill him. And that works. Very good. Uh, damage to the back line or flashing daggers could help out here as well. Unfortunately, just a damage modifier there. I think I'll actually go for the Throne Daggers, give her a self boo boof, boof, bu boost and buff combined in a boof. I like boofs. Boofs are my favorite. Bump in the night. Oh man. We're hoping for some good stuff here. Zealous Accusation could do well, but we also have Smite available against these guys, which is pretty damn effective. Almost a guaranteed kill there. You know that 80% love. Alright, give me a good start here. Bayonet Jab is nothing to worry about. Just a little bit of damage there. I'm going to have to throw his stress heal on, especially considering the fact that he is targeting her again. Good God, that is unfortunate. I don't think I need to do any healing still, so let's try to kill the noble. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. A little bit of a self-heal for her, and th all their stress levels are, you know, kind of laughable at this point. Yes, nice! All right, a little bit of help for her. Thou art judged. Very good. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Of course, there's nothing we can do to make the sarcophagus any better of a place, so there's no worries there. I'm gonna go ahead and take off... Oh, we have Inspiring Cry on. I'm a... I'm a doofus. That was... No, this is the one that we wanted to switch off. That's right, the Dazzling Light that needs to be available for our Vestal here. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Now, I say we use the key... Oh, wait a minute. No, this is for the, uh... 
The Holy Relic. Nice. Okay, we got one. Very good. I would like it very much. Okay, this is still showing up. Apparently, that's a more common thing than I uh, than I was led to believe. So, I'm not going to stress th about that too much, especially considering it didn't seem to have made any impact on our quest success. Quest success. <laughs> what in the hell is wrong with me today? Good God. I am struggling. Much like I hope not to struggle as we make our way through here. I'm going to go ahead and pop that, actually. Get back up to the Radiance, and alright, well, Bone Spearman is a problem, but otherwise this is completely manageable. I say, well, AoE damage still isn't that great, so let's just go with the Throne Dagger. Her damage is really not terrific. I'm wondering if maybe I should try to uh, relegate her to some sort of, you know, like, support role instead. I'm not really sure what she could do in that respect. She's got the Blight abilities, and she's got... You know, a stun if we put her in the front, too, which obviously we're not going to be doing in this lineup. I don't know, it's interesting. I think maybe I'm misusing her to that to that degree. Oh, uh, we got to go with the chop here, I think. Try to get one kill at least. Yeah, that dodge chance. His accuracy is kind of questionable right now, unfortunately. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I'd have to look at her kit again to see whether or not there's... Uh, you know, skill sets we could utilize with her that I'm kind of ignoring at this point. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. I'm gonna have to re reassess her value in the near These future. Nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I keep forgetting I gotta give her some stress healing. Oh my god, wow, we already got two of them. Holy cow, that's great. Can you imagine if we just got through this and found them all in this hallway? I mean, I don't even know if that would be a good thing, honestly, because that would mean we'd have to... I mean, we'd still have to double back because there's no way we're not going to go try to get more money out of this. Oh, boy. Negative quirk. Oh, fear of Eldritch. All right. Well, at least that doesn't really make a difference for us right now. Uh, Decorative Vern, I'm pretty sure we can take a gamble on this one, although I think Holy Water will purify it. Valuables remain. Ooh, nice. Finding the stuff wow. Is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. That was exceptionally valuable. Okay. I am so down with that. Now, I say flashing daggers here. AoE damage is not... Oh, wow. With impunity. Did that sting? Oh, ho, ho. AoE damage is not to be scoffed at when your enemies have much lower health than they normally do. So that is entirely a valid option here. No blight. Thank you very much. If we have the first option... Ooh, you know what? I'm actually going to give some healing to the leper here. He's down to like half health. It's deceptive because he takes so much damage, we don't even realize it, but he was down to like 27 there. Oh, he's got a stun. A little bit of extra damage there, but it shouldn't matter too much because they're both dead! Oh, yeah! A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. I think we might dump something off here. The Jade is worthwhile, but... Ooh, man, we've got two rubies. We got two rubies from that last thing. That is insanely good. I dump off the Emerald, maybe? How about the Bandages? I think the bandages are going to be uh, much less likely to be used here. In fact, I probably shouldn't have wasted the money on them, so that was kind of a mistake on my part. We will have an opportunity to use this key for this chest, luckily, so that works out. Hopefully get some stuff that we already had. Get some crests out of that. All right, I'm down. I'm diggity down like a china clown. Let's go. Not a bad start at all with this hallway, man. I was, I was honestly not expecting to get that much of a benefit out of it, but we got a lot of really good stuff, so I am... I am optimistic about the remainder of this dungeon. Obviously, the Grave Robber's Stress is something that we're going to want to uh, take care of pretty damn soon here. We don't have to worry about battles coming up in these hallways as long as the light stays above zero. At least, I'm pretty sure that's what the case is. Let's find out as soon as we click through here. Oh, there's another fight. Never mind. At least we got to see it, though. A few maggots. A few maggots never hurt nobody know how, right? At least when we get some hues on them. Boom, baby! What I'm talking about, and we let the lunge finish him off. A little bit of stress relief for the grave robber. Oh, no luck. As victories mount, so too will resistance. All right, that was decent. Ooh, all right. First hunger proc. Luckily, again, we don't have to eat with the crusader. I believe it is, or is it the leper? No, I think it is the crusader wearing the wearing the fasting ring. That you know what? Building an entire. Uh, an entire kit around, or an entire lineup rather, around the idea of uh, everyone having 
what are they called? The Bloodthirst Rings? There's another one that I think is called the Fasting Ring. We could save a lot of money on food that way. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Hmm. That sounds like our, uh, our family's approach and to now, life. The darkness holds dominion. Black as death. You could save a lot of money on your car insurance by not having a car, but that's not really ideal for a lot of folks, is it? You can save a lot of money on food by just wearing a ring that makes you fast. But I like food, they say. Well, you don't anymore, do you, sport? And then he gets smacked around like a... Like an indecisive clown. That, that almost rhymed. I tried really hard for it. Alright, she's starting to hurt a little bit. The healing is gonna be the priority now. We're getting into the territory where I... Where I shan't... Utilize the Vestal for her stunning and damaging powers. Or at least I shouldn't. A little bit of AoE damage, which I'm still totally okay with. Uh, the Hue has a chance to kill him and damage him. But the Chop more than likely kills the Conscript. I think I'm better off this way. That'll do, man. That'll do. The Zealous Accusation, although the Stress Heal is probably my better bet. And a little bit of Torchlight from that as well. I totally forgot about that benefit to it, so that's... That's not a bad option at all. And though they still target her, which I worry about. She's starting to get hurt up here quite a bit. Let's do a little bit more healing. The stress heal, torch, and the heal itself. That is an extremely good skill. And that is why I love the Crusader, man. He is my... He is my homie. He is my dog. You know how they say he's your dog. He's my dog. He's like my my pet companion that I bring on walks into the dog park. That's what the Crusader is. Ooh, baby! Singular strike. I like it when you call me Big Dagger. Well, Throw your bones in the air if you end up dead. I like it. Well, fortunately the Citrine is still the least valuable, although I do have a full stack of them already, that's 750 gold, but if I dump them off, that translates into uh, more than likely a 1500 gold stack once we are able to finish it off. Honestly, anything that only values at 250 gold, when you end up having to make room for other things, it's gonna be more than likely more beneficial to just try and, uh, you know, make way for the gold. Ooh, last gasp. What does that do for us? Nice, plus one speed when it's below 50% health. I feel like I might as well let him get down into that range then. Wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. That might honestly be to our benefit, to just allow him to stay below 50% health. How's her uh, trapped tech chance? Looking pretty damn good here. She's gonna be the one to address this obstacle. Nice! Well done, Noyes. Alright, already making herself worthwhile for this party. I'm probably not going to be able to take this torch, unfortunately, but three deeds I am certainly happy with bringing along for the ride. Very nice. Alright, I'm kind of hoping that we find a little bit of extra food at some point here as well, because I'd very much like to be able to feast and not have to worry about the, uh... Ooh, not have to worry about the repercussions of not having the food available for a... For a food proctivation. That's not the word. Throne daggers on the back line! It was a good start. Taking out the noble, obviously, he's going to be... Very beneficial to us, and Intimidate could work pretty well on the Bone Commander here, too. If I can get him all the way to the back, that would be amazing. Let's see if his resistances take effect. They do, unfortunately. Although his accuracy is now lowered. What's his stun resist? Pretty damn high, actually. But our base chance is kind of balancing that out. I think I heal here still, but then again, oh man, it could be entirely worth it to try to take care of this guy early on. Oh, that stinks! There's a little bit of torchlight, though, but man, we would have preferred a much better result from that. I'm still going to try to work on our Grave Robber, but this guy honestly just scares me too much to have done the things I did in that first round, now that I think about it. I was really hoping that stun would work out, but sadly, was not meant to be. We'll try the Intimidate again, because I really think I'd like to knock him back. Work for me. Come on. All right, so that's not going to work, I guess, but now his accuracy is startlingly low, so I suspect we'll be able to take... Uh, take advantage of that for the remainder of the fight here. With her accuracy being up so high, too, I'm very surprised to find that she did, did not uh, reap the benefits of that. I think it's still time for the party heals, because these guys can deal some serious damage if I let them. Dodge it, please! Holy crap, man! Alright, well, at least we all resisted stun. That would have been terrible. Uh, I still think we go for a little bit more stress relief. Five per turn is 
Certainly nothing to scoff at. Alright, Throne Dagger, I have the chance to kill. There it is! Very nice. A little bit of stress relief for everybody. Just one piece at a goddamn time. Please give me the stun. Please give me that stun. Oh, yes! Thank you so much. Okay. I'm gonna stop the Intimidate. I'm gonna go straight for the damage here. 15 on that hit. Very, very good. Alright, now he's got that speed boost, of course, with the... With the, uh, last gasp. I still think we can, uh, take some risks here on doing Inspiring Cries. Do a little bit more stress relief for the Vestal here, too. Honestly, things are looking okay. Fortunately, he does not deal enough damage to make it very likely that we're gonna take him down anytime soon, but... Noir should help us out with the back portion of things. Go with Divine Comfort once more. We're not gonna be dying to these guys, and then we're gonna get a little bit of healing as soon as we... Oh, God. Well, might have spoken too soon. All right, she dodged it. That was that was critical, actually. I'm really glad she avoided that. That would have been some stress we would have liked to not have to deal with. The zealous accusation obviously does not work that well, but his bonus damage against the unholy is probably something I should have been taking more advantage of, except when they miss on an 80% chance to hit. Goodness! What is going on now? All right, that works out. So it's just the big bone commander left, which is still pretty damn dangerous. Not a chance to kill unless we get a really lucky crit here. Okay, that's good damage, though. Alright, please dodge something. Oh, you know what? He might die. We could also stun him. His boost is gone. It's kind of risky, but I say we go for it. Come on, baby! Yes! Oh, man. Oh, okay, that was... That was good. That was better. The greater the glory. You bled on my best coat. Devastating blow. Oh, hello, Fasting Seal! I will certainly take that. Thank you kindly. We'll grab another herb here, too, as well as the gold, and I think we'll leave the bandage behind, right? Yeah, we can't take that. Okay. And now, the fountain, I believe, is something that we can utilize to uh, relieve some stress on our party, so let's go ahead and just try this out here. Reinvigorates the hero. Oh, nice, some healing as well. Ooh, that was very good. Okay. Unfortunately, that does reduce her overall health kind of significantly but still this is very good and now I'm kind of tempted to utilize the campfire pretty soon although now that we've got this scout obviously we can move forward and not have to worry about that alright so we have a chance to remove a negative quirk here unfortunately no more holy water but we'll go in here anyway oh boy alright so that's some extra stress for the leper but that's still totally manageable Two food there. Unfortunately, that is... Yeah, so we we got the unlucky uh, food activation there, unfortunately. We, we would have had enough to feast had we not had that occur. But I think I might take a gamble here and see if maybe I find... Well, you know what? Actually, no, I can't do that. I think we take the campfire here because we are... Uh, we are hurting a little bit health-wise. So... A spark oh! Kindling is a goal without hope. Apparently, these take effect while you're in the camp as well. Well, that's extremely convenient. Okay. That makes things a lot better. So, stress is completely manageable now, which means we can probably focus a little bit on buffs. Uh, let's see here. The quarantine reduces everyone's stress pretty damn significantly, but again, it's not even really that big of a deal. I think instead we go for almost exclusively buffs, but the zealous speech could be good as well. Heals everybody by 10% and reduces their stress, and everyone but him has at least... 10 stress, so this could be a very good option. I say we go for this. Forget not that our errand is holy and just. And then, uh, sanctuary is probably a good idea. Sanctuary is always a good idea. You gotta be safe about that. Chance to produce food is not really necessary. Supply item could be nice, but not really ideal. Let's go with a bless here. Get a little bit more accuracy and dodge chance for the leper, perhaps. I kinda like that option. My friend, the light shines upon you. Alright, that worked out pretty well. I think we're in uh, very good condition moving forward for the rest of this one. We've got three more food, which is going to cover the promise of safety. One more food activation if we happen to have to deal with that. Okay, we're just in time to have to deal with a slavering ghoul here. So the enchantress is still a big issue, and that sucks. The enchantress can still deal some serious damage. How's his stun resist looking? 70%. Not really that good of an idea to try to go for that. I say instead, well, you know what? We can still use some party heals. Maybe we delegate her to that for the rest of the mission, actually. Oh, yeah. Considering this guy can boost up the stress levels on all of our team 
really quickly. This is a this is a stress focused build right here for the enemy. That's for damn sure. That's something I'd really like to uh, prevent from dealing any further damage here. He is an unholy beast, so I say we let the Crusader do his job, which is to crit strike, slavering ghouls on the reg, baby. All right, another skull toss on Noyers. That sadly does a lot of damage to her as well. She's fortunately much weaker than the rest of the crew here. Okay, she did get the push, unfortunately, so that mm, that may mean we kind of just rely on him to do some do some more. Oh God, that's amazing. That is so good. Her crits have been killer this dungeon. Might have to have him just do some stress heals from that back position until we f can finish this guy off. But then again, he might just die here. He does indeed. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. All right, we don't need any of these things actually, but I'll, uh, you know, I'll dump off the bandage. We'll take the onyx, and uh, we'll let the citrine go. That works. Okay. Moving on up. Moving on up. This might even be... Oh, man, I was kind of hoping this was going to be our last holy relic. We're going to have to make room for that eventually. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Unfortunately, we don't want any of that stuff, so... Goodbye to that, I guess. Alright, hoping for an easy fight. Not really what I was hoping for. Son of a bitch. Alright. Is AoE damage good here? I think so. That works out. To my favor. Uh, still definitely need to heal up. In fact, the grave robber needs some special attention. Although, geez, the party heal just kind of seems like it's so much better objectively than the individual focus, even though one of our party members is not like the other in that respect. Uh, he's got a chance to kill the conscript. I say we go for that. Hell yes. That's such a weird sound his sword makes. It's like a shield bash, but not at all. All right, that's pretty good. The bulwark. I mean, it's it probably bodes well for us to take care of the bulwark early, but with his axe blade, I mean, yeah, he's got a pretty high chance to dodge that move, and then I don't know. He's just not really, just not really a huge priority, I don't think, because he's so slow. His stun resist is not even that high. If we wanted to go that route with it, I'm gonna go party heal. By the way. Maybe we don't even worry about him until we can manage to take down everybody else because the damage we can deal across the board is... Oh, God, that impale. I forgot about that move. That is... That is killer. Oh, that's right. He does have a knockback. Okay, so that's... The knockback stun, that's something... Well, that might not even, not even be a uh, knockback now that I think about it. That might just be a stun. I like the Zealous there. That's a guaranteed kill on this guy and then a little bit of extra damage on the Bulwark. And then we can go for a... Uh, go for a Throne Dagger here on the Marksman. That sounds decent. Very good. Another Zealous would probably finish them both off if we manage to get that opportunity before they get to move. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on now. Nice! Here we go! Okay, so he's still alive, but I think the Leper still has that bonus. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's back up to nearly full health, actually. Wow, that's surprising. But all right, then. This expedition at least promises success. So we gotta get rid of something again here. Do I dare eat all the food? That seems like a really dangerous play. Tell you what, we're going to get rid of the herbs, because the herbs really don't provide us much value. Oh, wait a minute. I had room in the stack. Ah, no, I still need to make room for it anyway. All right, got to make an important decision here, and I'm deciding we go right. I'm hoping it's the correct one. All right, well, that's not a great start. Man, that's some Ancient big damage, too. I'm going to take a gamble on this. And Man! And blood. Nothing too bad, please. Uh, well, phobe. okay, we can deal with that. Well, that was not a good hallway, unfortunately. Let's see if maybe we find our final relic within this room. We do not. We get the scout, though. It doesn't make a huge difference. All right, well... As much as I hate backtracking... Well, no, here's what we can do. We'll go here. We'll really hope that we can disarm that, son of a bitch. All right, don't die. Oh, Jesus. All right, she's got to get off there. Oh, that's some extra stress we didn't want to have to deal with. Shit. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping to disarm that trap. I'm thinking maybe I should have used somebody else to do that, actually. Uh, an Altar of Light. I'm pretty sure we want to utilize the Grave Robber here to uh, potentially relieve some stress with this. Nice. Oh, she got a buff. Oh, that's a damage boost. Okay, well, probably not the person we wanted to have that go on, but... Oh, well. Alright, so... It's a risk. But I'm just going to end up going this way. 
And this isn't too big of a deal. Okay, I think we can deal with this just fine. As long as they don't prioritize the Grave Robber too much, which, you know, they're more than likely going to do because I just said that. But I still think we'll be okay. Uh, the Hue is not the better option. I say we go try to kill the Bone Veteran. Not a very high chance, but a chance nonetheless. Okay, that's acceptable. Uh, let's see. Do we lunge here? I seriously doubt it. I say instead AoE damage. No, 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 no. Let's let's go with the individual targets here. I think her her damage buff kind of makes it more valuable to prioritize. Long range foes! Just like that. Just one piece at a time. Goodness. Dude. Say what you want about her low health levels and her low level in general, but those crits have basically been carrying us through this day. I am very pleased with that. Chance to kill the veteran and deal damage to the spearman. I like it. Nice. All right. This is working. This is working. Oh, but she's at death's door. Okay. Well. On the brink, facing the abyss. I think we get the actions before he does. So I say we take a big risk and just try to go for the kill on this guy. She might even get to. Uh... Oh my God! Wow. Wow. Noyers. Loot are often low on supplies. Killing it, girl. Yes! Alright, we gotta get her off death's door before we get out of here. Unfortunately, if that uh, leads to uh, needing to eat food before we get out of here, that would be really unfortunate. I say we go for this again. God damn it! Son of a bitch! Holds much worse than mere trickery. Now, it's possible we have another fight in this room, but I'm willing to deal with that. Alright, well this is indeed our last relic, it seems, but we just have a lot of bad situations on our hands, potentially. As a result of this, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Oh boy, yeah, I'm starting to think I probably should have gone for the other hallway, but nonetheless, we're in it to win it now. Let's try this out. The enchantress needs to go down. She's going to be the one that really makes a difference here. All right, luckily he didn't target the back, and that's a good dodge for the leper. Our frontline tanks are still in great shape, actually. They can still take a beating, so we're okay in that respect. Get her the hell off death's door right now. Make everybody a little bit less worse for wear. A little bit better for wear, I suppose, is what they say. Nice resist on that knockback as well. Okay, good damage on the gladiator. Zealous accusation probably works out pretty damn well here. I say we go for that. Very good. One down. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Tempting goblet. Oh, jeez. Not too much, right? Oh, no! A stress check and death store. And abusive. Okay, I was kind of expecting it. God damn! Don't you? All right. Well, I guess she's. Set the stage for heroism. Oh man, that resist was critical. I guess she's kind of earned the right to be a little bit cocky based on what's happened thus far. But nonetheless, we just gotta get the hell out of this position. There we go. That helps. That helps a lot. Let's see. Do I smite? I think I smite. The noble could potentially die. Son of a bitch! Ugh. That sucks. That sucks. I don't want to have her get opportunities to talk trash to us anymore, so... I guess I'll just let her do her thing. Ooh, nice. She gets the Shadow Fade as well. Give me that stun. Man, how in the world? 20%! And she's back at death's door again. Alright, please accept the heals. Luckily, I don't think she's actually capable of refusing a, uh, a heal from from the uh, group, so that works to our advantage. Please kill him. Thank God. Oh, man. Littering wow! Gold, trinkets and baubles. Okay, well. Or in blood. We gotta make some space here. God damn. Can we stack that? We can stack this too. Holy shit. I say we get rid of this, I guess, and then... Do we, uh, do we have... Potential to get more stuff from somewhere? Well, no, we're gonna get rid of the shovel here, obviously, to make room for the relic. Uh, but besides that, I'm not really sure. Let's just dispose of that now. We'll take this, and then we'll see... There's another treasure in that hallway, but I'm pretty damn sure I'm getting out of here as soon as I grab this thing. This is indeed the relic. So we'll take this. And we're gonna have to dump something off. I guess it's gonna be... Man, what's it gonna... I guess it's gonna be the 200 gold, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. Take this, and we're done. God damn. Tokens of hope recovered from the encroaching dark. Well, that certainly paid out well. I mean, the end result was certainly 
less than stellar, but we got what we came for in the form of 21 grand, some precious heirlooms, and uh, it's a precious, precious experience, rather, as well. Noyers does level up despite her abusive tendencies, but she got hard skinned as a result of that, too. A lot of resolve experience for this one. Looking pretty good. Otherwise, precision striker and unyielding. Well, we got all positive quirks from that. I guess that's a uh, silver lining. Otherwise, to an expedition that I would have preferred gone a little bit better. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. So we got some big concerns to address, but otherwise, we're looking okay for next time. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Appreciate that a lot. My name is Bear, and I will see you next time.